Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about system reliability optimization. So this is a highly efficient reliability based design optimization method. This method allows reliability constraints to be applied to not just the individual failure constraints but to the overall system reliability. SRO is a probabilistic design approach that enhances system reliability by considering uncertainties in material properties, operating conditions, also manufacturing variations, and unlike most probable point methods, SRO relies on Monte Carlo simulations with advanced response surface techniques requiring fewer runs than traditional reliability optimizers. It also adjusts design parameters to minimize failure probability while meeting cost, weight, and other performance constraints. Um, finally, SRO includes a global search capability and handles robust optimization as a multi-objective problem. This is to balance nominal performance with design variability to explore the trade-off between reliability and performance. So basically, how likely is a system to fail, given the uncertainties in the inputs? So here in the image, we can see on our left the classical optimization, which finds the best design without considering uncertainty. The deterministic optimum lies near the edge of the feasible region, resulting in a high probability of failure. And in the right, we have the reliability optimization, which which shifts the solution into a safer region by accounting for uncertainty. And the new optimum balances performance with low probability of failure, improving the design robustness. So we're going to have three different approaches. And first, we're going to focus solely on system reliability without any probabilistic constraints requirement. Now let's open HyperStudy. And we're just going to open our archive for this example. And first, we're going to add a new approach. This is going to be an optimization from GRSM. Um, we'll use the same design variable settings like uh, GRSM, but adding the uncertainty here. So let's go to our define models, define input variables, and Let's just remove these unnecessary design variables. Now, we need to set here the distribution role to design with random to reflect real-world uncertainties. So we will use this one for all of our design variables. And as you can see here, we also have the variance. Uh, which is just a measure of how much a set of values is spread out from their mean. Uh, so we have different types of distribution, uh, but in this case, we're just going to use normal variance. Um, this is defined by you as an user, depending on the uncertainty on the study variables. Uh, now we need to change the variance here. And we'll just set this value for all of our design variables. Perfect. Uh, now let's go ahead and go to our output responses. And as I mentioned in this first example, we are only going to be concerned with the system reliability. So we'll only have deterministic constraints. So the CDF limit is not taking into consideration here. Um, now let's go to uh, specifications and we're going to select system reliability optimization and we'll change the system reliability to 90%. And something I actually forgot is that in this case, instead of running this from the solver, we're going to be running this from our feet to just to speed up the, uh, the solving. So this should be very fast. We hit apply, next, and this should be done in seconds. Now for our second example, we're going to be adding reliability requirements on specific constraints in addition to the system reliability. So let's go back to hyper study 
and we'll just copy this optimization and we'll go directly to define output responses. So in here, we're going to change this to probabilistic constraint and we're going to let the CDF to 99. So let me change all of our constraints to probabilistic constraint. Now let's go ahead and run this. And this should also be very fast because we're using the fit. Now, in this case, we are going to perform our last optimization, which is going to be basically a multi-objective optimization focusing on performance and robustness. So let's go to hyperstudy. And in this case, we're going to copy our first optimization. And we are going to enable robust optimization. And let's run this. Now that we are done, we are going to review the results for the three use cases. So let's go to the first one. And if we go directly to the iteration plot and the system reliability, we can see that the system reliability requirement was met. It was set to 90%. Uh, now let's see the second use case. And in this case, let's remember that uh, we've request 99% on the constraints and 90 on the system. So if we go to the iteration history, uh, we can see that for our um, individual constraints, we have met the requirement and uh, our system constraint uh, met result in even higher. We have these to set to 96%. Uh, and finally, our last optimization. As I mentioned here, we are performing a multi-objective optimization between the normal object, uh, objective and minimizing the standard deviation. And this results in a family of of optimal designs, there is a trade-off between the performance and the robustness. So in this case, we are going to have two different possible solutions in here. Now, finally, just as a summary, first we have our basic reliability analysis, which is easier to set up, but may miss effects on uncertainty on constraints. Uh, the second one is a more conservative and realistic. Uh, we have a slightly higher volume, so probably wor worse performance, because you are designing for greater confidence in constraint satisfaction. And the last one considers not just probability, but also robustness. So the solution must work well across a range of uncertainties. Thank you.